in this video we will solve a problem on driven rl circuit so circuit is given here in this you have to determine an expression for ir of t so a 10 milliampere current source is given and at a t equal to 0 switch will be opened before that switch is closed at a t equal to 0 switch will be opened and you have 0.1 henry inductor and two resistors 60 ohm and 40 ohm and current passing through this 60 ohm resistor is ir so you have to determine expression for this ir okay so we will first write for t less than 0 what is the equivalent circuit t less than 0 this switch is closed so all the current flows through this short circuit short circuit mean like this current all the current will flow so this part of the circuit will not receive any current because there is a short circuit all 10 milliampere current will pass through this one because this switch will be open only after t equal to 0 so before that switch is closed and 10 ampere current flows through like this so all current here all current will flow through like this so no current i can separate this part no current flows through this so here in this one this ir is absolutely zero and what about il this also zero il this also zero okay so we can write this one at this moment what is ir of 0 minus no current il of 0 minus no current all the current flows through like this for uh, t greater than 0 for t greater than 0 what is the circuit Sw switch will be opened so switch will be opened means this branch will not be there so this directly goes like this and you have sixty ohm and forty ohm and point one Henry and current flowing through this is IR and this current is ten milliampere. Okay. So this one this is IR at a T sorry T greater than zero okay now we will solve this one step one the ask the question is determine an expression for ir of t so step one will be we will first calculate ir of zero minus again to find ir of zero plus we do not need ir of zero minus that is for inductor to calculate IL of 0 plus you need IL of 0 minus for resistor we don't need but still we will calculate all the values okay we don't need IR 0 minus to calculate IR 0 plus okay anyway we will calculate this value so IR of 0 minus directly we can write it is 0 ampere so no current flows through and we will write IL of 0 minus also because this is required to write IL of 0 plus so that also 0 ampere because of this short circuit no current flows through the resistor also and inductor what is il of 0 plus then il of 0 plus will be 0 ampere itself because it is nothing but il of 0 minus so what we have to calculate now ir of 0 plus the moment switch is opened what is the current flowing through this 60 ohm so what happens here the moment switch is open the before switch is open no current is flowing through inductor so as soon as switch is opened this state of the current flowing through this continues what is the state no current is flowing through inductor at ir of 0 sorry at t equal to 0 minus so at t equal to 0 plus also no current flows through the inductor but you are pumping 10 ampere current 10 milliampere current inductor is not ready to allow any current at moment t equal to 0 plus so who has to allow 60 ohm resistance has to allow complete current so it will take the complete current so ir of 0 plus is nothing but 10 milliampere 
this is happening because inductor resists abrupt change no current was flowing all of a sudden you try to pull try to pump 10 milliampere it will not allow so 60 ohm resistor has to take all the current but as time passes current will pass through the inductor because it resists only abrupt change after that it will slowly allow so once it slowly allows the current finally at finally what happens this will act like an inductor so it will be like a two branches 60 ohm and 40 ohm resistor and current flowing through this branch will be ca can be calculated using current divider formula okay so first uh, in the step one we'll just calculate ir of 0 minus ir of 0 plus and il of 0 minus and il of 0 plus okay step two we have to calculate now uh, tau so tau is in this case l divided by r equivalent so we have to calculate now r equivalent because we have two resistors what is the procedure for connect uh, finding r equivalent first deactivate the independent source how to deactivate current source make it open so next one this resistance and this resistance that is appearing across this inductor So equivalent R equivalent is nothing but the e e resistance seen by the inductance when the uh, independent sources are deactivated. So here what is the R equivalent? R equivalent is 60 plus 40 that is 100 ohm. 100 ohm. So tau is L. L is given 0.1 Henry by 100 so it will be 1 milli 1 millisecond so it will be 1 millisecond that is step 2 step 3 you have to calculate final current irf we have to calculate because finally we need an expression for ir since this circuit has an inductance current or current through all the elements will have the form of IRF plus IRN. So any current you want to determine that will have the form of uh, force response plus natural response. So IL of T you want to calculate it will be ILN plus ILF. If you want to calculate IR of T then it is IRN plus IRF where IRN denotes natural response of the current and IRF res uh, represents force response of the current okay so IRF required or we can even call this one as IR infinity or steady state IR current so what is the steady state current finally what happens initially inductor didn't allow any current so all the current were flowing through this 60 ohm but at time passes this allows so finally this act like a short so if it act like a short then it has two branches 60 ohm 40 ohm and current passing through this 60 ohm is in, uh, can be calculated using current divider formula so that is total current that is 10 milliampere current uh, sorry resistance of other branch that is 40 divided by total resistance that is 60 plus 40 so it is 400 milli divided by 100 so this will be 4 milli so initially cur initial current passing through the resistance was 10 milliampere but at later at t equal to infinity or at a, when t is very much greater than zero so that time what happens your current passing through the resistance will be finally 4 milliampere okay so step four is nothing but the complete response it's a driven rl circuit so ir of t we have to calculate it is irn plus irf where irn is a natural response what is the natural response that also we know natural response will take this form a into one constant into exponent minus t by tau tau value we have calculated one millisecond plus irf we just now calculate that is four milli so this will be a e power minus t by tau is 1 milli plus 4 milli now we have to find this constant a so for that we need initial condition that is ir of 0 plus we need we need ir of 0 plus 
if you are calculating for inductance you need il of 0 plus but here we are ca calculating current passing through resistance so we need ir of 0 plus so ir of 0 plus that is nothing but we calculated before that is 10 milli ampere 10 milli ampere 10 milli ampere uh, 10 milli ampere plus uh, sorry 10 milli ampere equal to and uh, a t equal to 0 you have to substitute that will be 0 plus 4 m okay so this a e power 0 is 1 so a is nothing but 10 minus 4 that is 6 m so you will get a equal to 6 m so a equal to 6 m now if you substitute in the main equation ir of t that will be equal to natural response that is 6 milli into e power minus t by 1 milli plus 4 milli now you can substitute here t equal to 0 so what happens t equal to 0 what current we are expecting t equal to 0 we are expecting a current of 10 milli amp you substitute t equal to 0 here so e power 0 that will be 1 6 m plus 4 m that is nothing but a 10 m but as t increases this term will dominate and this 6 m will become finally 0 because as t increases the decay constant will be decay rate will be more and this term will be 0 and only 4 milliampere will get so ir final value is this 4 milli but initial value will be 4, 6 m plus 4 m 10 m okay that's it